environmental forces. External forces affecting the value of a property. The purpose of appraisal of real property is for the appraiser to come to an opinion of market value. Alternatively, considering environmental forces or outside forces on a property and internal factors or physical characteristics of a property helps the appraiser achieve her purpose. Environmental forces may include the climate and topography of the area when internal factors may include the view from a property or the quality of the schools. In general, though not always, environmental forces are considered to be forces that cannot be affected or changed when physical characteristics or factors are sometimes changeable. Though changing the view from a property is not changeable, cutting down a tree that blocks a view on a property is changeable. And just try to change the local school district and see how possibly impossible that might be. Nonetheless, theoretically, a school district could be changed and the climate, parentheses, over the short term, and parentheses, cannot be changed. Environmental forces are outside forces affecting the value of a property. Synonyms, external factors. Antonyms, physical characteristics, internal factors. Related words, appraisal. Rent, payment for use of property. Rent is a fee paid for the use of real property. Since real estate deals by law have to be in writing, rent is spelled out in a rental agreement or lease. Rent can be either gross, parentheses, includes property taxes, insurance, and maintenance, and parentheses, or triple net, parentheses, NNN, and parentheses, which excludes those three items, and they are billed separately. Most residential rents are gross, and most commercial rents are triple net. Basically, rent is payment for use of property. Auto dialer, machine used to dial one phone number after another. Real estate brokers slash agents are salespeople. The telephone, parentheses, and faxes and email, and parentheses, are tools to reach potential customers. Because potential customers have felt that real estate salespeople have abused these sales channels, rules have been put into place to protect consumers. One of them is the restricted use of auto dialers. An auto dialer is a device used to automatically call one phone number after the other and leave a message which connects the potential customer to a real estate agent if the phone is answered. There are rules to the use of such machines. First, customers on a do not call list cannot be called. Second, calls must be between 8 a.m. and 9 p.m. and a live agent has two seconds to connect to a potential customer who answers a call. There are fines up to $16,000 per violation, parentheses, each call is a violation, and parentheses. Related words, cold calling. Priority. Order deeds are recorded with the county clerk. Priority refers to the order in which deeds or liens are recorded with the county clerk on real property. The most common use is with trust deeds. You may have heard of a, quote, first trust deed, end quote, which is a voluntary lien on a property, parentheses, commonly called a mortgage, 
even if it is technically not end parentheses. If there is a first trust deed, then there can be a second trust deed and a third trust deed, etc. The property describes the order in which lenders will be repaid in the event of foreclosure. Recording establishes legal priority, so if two loans were theoretically taken on a property, then the lender who made it first to the courthouse and got a record, a recorder's stamp of a slightly earlier time gets the priority over the other. This is why, although recording is not required by law, it is clearly an important issue as it establishes priority. Cold calling. Unsolicited sales telephone call. Cold calling is the act of making unsolicited sales calls by telephone to potential customers who do not know the salesperson. The rough opposite of cold calling is calling customers who have previously called and requested information. Returning a request for information customer call is not a cold call, parentheses, it is mo much, quote, warmer, end quote, because it is much more likely, on a statistical basis, to produce a sale, end parentheses. New agents are often left to cold call to find new clients, as they have no history of clients upon which to depend to generate leads. Companies which do not, companies which do nothing but cold calling may have rooms full of operators calling and these operations are called a boiler room operation. Cold call sales calls have been so annoying and harassing over the years that the do not call and do not fax rules and lists have been developed to protect telephone owners. A cold call is an unsolicited sales telephone call. Related words, boiler room, prospecting, do not call lists, do not call rules. Continued misrepresentation. Pattern of misrepresentation over time or transactions. Misrepresentation is part of a list of improper, improper interactions in and around real estate parentheses, and other transactions. The list includes misrepresentation, fraud, mistake, duress, menace, and undue influence. Misrepresentation is making a false statement or hiding a material fact or information. Continued misrepresentation is a pattern of such behavior extending over time or a number of transactions. Do not call. People who have asked not to be cold called. Federal laws allow citizens to add their names and numbers to a national do not call and do not fax list. Real estate professionals are not allowed to cold call or cold fax the numbers on these lists. Cold calling is the act of making unsolicited sales calls by telephone to potential customers who do not know the salesperson. An auto dialer is a device used to automatically call one phone number after the other. Cold calling and using an auto dialer to numbers on the do not call or do not fax list is prohibited. The do not call and the do not fax lists are nationally are national lists protected by federal law for people who have expressed a desire not to receive unsolicited phone calls and faxes. Related words, cold call, auto dialer. Express release. Let out of a con 
contractual promise in writing or by word. A release is a form of discharge of contract in which the party to whom a promise is due does not require the other to perform. An express release is a release either in writing or by spoken word. Crawl space, space between ground and bottom floor of home. There are three basic residential structural systems used in the United States. One is building a home with a fully dug out basement. Another is a slab on grade, where the concrete slab is put directly onto the leveled and compressed dirt. The third involves a crawl space. The crawl space is typically a three to four foot space between the lower story floor and the ground. The flooring joists are attached at their ends to the top of short walls, called cripple walls, and supported across their length by pylons. Pylons are concrete bases about a foot by a foot that come up about 8 to 12 inches in a trapezoidal shape. Often 4 by 4s will be placed between the pylons and the floor joists. Each home structural system has its advantages and disadvantages. The crawl space is not so nice because, it's, because if screens are not kept in place, quote, critters, end quote, of different types will make their home in the crawl space. On the other hand, all of the home's plumbing of the first floor is often left exposed to the crawl space, leaving access to a plumber in case of repairs. The crawl space is the space between the ground and the bottom floor of the home. Antonyms, slab on grade, related words, cripple wall, pylon. Blighted area, rundown section, usually of a city. A blighted area is a run-down section of a city. Blighted areas typically result from the end of a cycle or trend. Manufacturing moving to China or Mexico, for example, leaves factories dormant and neglected. The part of town becomes run-down. The end of a housing trend can result in people moving to a new part of town or the country, leaving one area to neglect and abandonment. City councils often labor and ponder as to how to revitalize blighted areas, offering tax breaks or incentives and low interest loans to get developers to move back into blighted areas. The rundown area is called a blighted area.